Hey guys, JB here with Divi Space. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Divi Mobile menu with a collapsing effect. The purpose of a collapsing effect is to provide a cleaner menu navigation experience for your visitors when using a mobile device. This is going to take a little bit of CSS and JavaScript, and I'm excited to show you how to execute this using Divi. So let's get started. All right, guys, so just want to show you guys the header that we have in place uh, with our menu module using the Divi theme builder. So this does work with a Divi theme builder based uh, header and also your standard menu uh, system when you're just using the theme customizer. So I'm going to show you how it displays here on the desktop version and then I'm going to right click on this page and click on inspect and what this is going to do is going to allow me to emulate a mobile device you can do this with any chromium based browser like google chrome microsoft edge and you could even do this on firefox as well so I'm going to right click on inspect here and as you can see I have it set to iphone and when I click on the hamburger menu it takes up all of my screen real estate because all my sub menu headings um, are fully expanded with my sub pages in them and from a user perspective that just overwhelms me it tells me that i need to choose all these options and does not allow me to navigate the website at my own pace plus it takes up a lot of space on my screen so depending on your device you may have to scroll on depending on how big your menu is let's go ahead and take a look at it on an ipad here as you can see very similar it does take a big chunk of your real estate and that's what we're going to fix with this collapsing effect so let's click out of this and then we're going to go into our uh, wordpress dashboard navigate over to divi Divi theme options and on our general tab we're going to scroll all the way down to custom CSS and this is where we're going to place our code but before we do so let's go ahead and provide a title for this code snippet and what I like to do is I like to create a comment so that way I can organize my code snippets if I ever have to put any other CSS code within this same area so the way that we do that is by doing a forward slash ast uh, forward slash asterisk. Sorry about that. <laughs> and three hyphens that allows me just to center the title. And then let's call this Divi mobile menu collapsing effect. And you can call it whatever you like. Three hyphens again, asterisk, and then a forward slash again. And this is going to close that comment. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that CSS code. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can just click the link in the video description to our blog post and you'll be able to access the CSS and JavaScript code snippets for you to copy and paste. And if you're watching this on our blog post, just scroll down onto the page and copy and paste as you please. All right, we've uh, pasted the code here. We're going to save changes and we're going to scroll back up and we're going to go into integration and this JavaScript is going to be implemented within our head code because it is a header uh, element. It's always at the top of the website and that is where we're going to execute this code. Again, the code snippets will be provided to you on the link in the video description or uh, via our blog post if you're already watching. And we're going to paste that in there. And I'm also going to leave a comment within the script tags. Uh, so the JavaScript is actually executed using a script tag on here. And after this, the first script tag, I'm just going to enter two forward slashes to create a comment in JavaScript. Divi mobile menu collapsing effects. And you don't have to close it out. Uh, it already automatically provides it as a comment with the two forward slashes. And we're going to click on save changes. And now we're going to go into the front end. So let's go ahead and click on visit website here. This is our desktop. 
looks normal, of course. But when we go into the inspect mode and look at the emulator, we're going to see that change. So let's go ahead and click on inspect. And if you do not see these changes right away, make sure that if you have a caching plugin like Divi Rocket or Lightspeed Cache or whatever caching plugin of use that you are have installed on your website, make sure you clear the cache. Um, and if it does not make a change, make sure you also clear your browser side just in case uh, you're not able to see that. Usually that's always... Um, the solution when it comes to implementing anything with code or big changes of this nature. Let's go ahead and click on the hamburger menu here. And as you can see, we have collapsed our menu. Now we're able to see this little plus symbol here and the X to collapse it back into its place. And then we can collapse it back so that we have more real estate to navigate. And that would be a lot more useful on a phone scenario here. Expand all these and you see it takes up a lot of real estate. I can't even see what's behind here. It could, you know, that information behind there could drive me to scroll down and stay on the page. Uh, so I can go ahead and collapse that back. Pretty neat, isn't it? Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, didn't need any plugin at all, just a bit of CSS and some JavaScript. If you do not feel comfortable with code, we do have an alternative method. And I will go ahead and show you that right now. The alternative method to creating a Divi mobile menu collapsing effect is by installing the Divi Switch plugin by Divi Space. If you are wanting to check that out and all its other features, the link will be on the video description for you guys to check it out. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're in our blog post, there will be a link as well to guide you through the page for our plugin. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into how can we activate this to create a collapsing effect here. So I'm going to show you the front end here and show you that this is a standard mobile menu with Divi uh, via an iPhone. And we can look at it at an iPad view as well. And then we'll go back into our WordPress dashboard and we're going to navigate into our Divi theme options. And once installed and activated, you'll be presented with a Divi switch tab. When we click on that, we're going to click on the mobile tab here. And then we're going to scroll down or bring our eyesight down to collapse sub menu items in the mobile menu. And this is going to give us a couple options. We can have it at none so it doesn't affect or create that effect at all. Uh, we can enable it and make parent link not clickable. So if you have a menu item that doesn't lead you anywhere and it's just meant to create a placeholder for a title. And then if you click on enable and keep a parent link clickable. So if you have a menu item that does lead you to a page and you're wanting them uh, to navigate there, but you have sub, men, uh, sub pages below your menu, that's what you would click on. So let's go ahead and enable and make parent link not clickable. Click on save changes. And if we go to the front end, we'll go ahead and just refresh it here within this emulator. And there you go. And it was just easy as just a few clicks. And I'm able to collapse through all my menu and collapse it back just as the code version of this video. So I hope this video tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Uh, there will be more tutorials just like this coming very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button if you have not done so, so that you'll be able to be notified when a new video goes live. Make sure to also check out the Divi.space website. We do have other code snippets that you can use with Divi that provide just an endless amount of possibilities when creating a website with Divi. I hope to see you guys in the next Divi Space video and see you guys later.